it's been some time. My last videos were fine, you know? Obviously, eye tracking in a Quest 2, great. Eye tracking in an Index, great. I think those videos are still very valuable for everybody. I think they're a great demonstration of, like, just the way most people have built those kind of things. Kind of randomly, kind of just whatever. It's been a couple months. And finished up some of my designs. I tried doing similar stuff to this in, like, February and March. But uh, it didn't go anywhere, and obviously those first videos were fine, good ways of showing how to put it together. I'm not going to make another, you know, how to put it all together. This is going, th this video is going to be to show off a little bit how to put together my design for a Quest 3. And show off some of my designs for my headsets that I now use. It's not really, it's not going to be about, um... A tutorial because I mean I already made those but I'm still gonna um, show how the quest 3 one is made so I'll show you my quest 3 I'm gonna put together one of these so I put together a few of these already so like four or five um, they're okay you know, they're not okay. I don't know how to explain. They're great. This, this, these are great. This is it. It's, it's just a face gasket. So you just take out yours, put this one in, and you're done. You know, I'm striving f to make it not ugly. Also, not weigh a lot. So these, these don't weigh too much, which is nice. And with a battery on it, check this. Check this. Not too front heavy. Not too bad. Yes, look at that. Mm. And then obviously I'll talk about this design that is currently in it's a little different as well as I have um, a Quest 2 and a Quest 3S. But first I want to show putting this together. So, super simple. It comes in three pieces for the 3D prints. There's holes in the bottom of the container. There's a little um, reference points for the top container piece to sit in. So it's 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 pretty easy to put together. Okay. Now oh, it's still a little loose on there, so what I'm just gonna screw it in a little tighter. There we go. Now it's nice and strong. And now what I'm gonna do is take my cameras and just slot them in. One, and one and two. Yeah, I know, it's not that hard. I don't know why it took me so long. All right, then what you're gonna wanna do is feed your ribbons up through both of the holes. One in the bottom of the container, one in the top of the actual head uh, gasket. Fucking head, what, man. Hashtag ad lib, you know? Okay, so yeah, now those are in there, and now what I would do, um, if I had it, if I was going to be finishing this, would be putting in the cameras, and obviously I did that, putting in the lights, and then routing the wires through these holes that you can see right there, yep. Route the wires through those, then I'd just route them up through the vent holes into the bottom of the container, up into the container, and then I'd cut them. Then what I do is I take this, I take the tops off of the cameras, attach them to these here, and then attach them like this. I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna take this apart instantly, but, and then you would connect them and drop it in. And then there'd be the wires for the um, eye tracking lights. And I've made a custom lid that has a bit more space. So it, there'll be, there's more space. You just slide the lid on <clears throat> and screw it down. That's kind of it. The lid doesn't fit perfectly. And what that creates is a lot of um, 
side angle for screwing in, which is good for 3D prints because we are making new threading for this plastic and it's super strong. You don't actually need the front screws at all. I don't use them, but yeah, that's it. And that, that would, and it would be done like that. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's very easy. Okay, there's that. Okay. Part two. You know, part two. The way I have my Quest 3S and Quest 2 set up is longer ribbon cables running all the way up to the top. This setup has similarly length ribbon cables, and this one has um, a fuck-ass extension cable because I didn't have another ribbon cable. It's ugly, but whatever. I don't fucking give a fuck. Okay. The whole idea was to be super balanced, so... On one finger. Not bad. So instead, the Vibe Tracker is the counterweight, and it's not as good, so it's a little more front-heavy. Um, but... It doesn't use a face gasket, so I'll show this one. And then my Quest 2 uses a super padded face gasket, so it doesn't move around on your face. It makes the eye tracking, I don't know if it makes it better. I, I thought it was super good to use, though. Um, decent? Decent, I guess.